And I want to show this video. This is Kyle Sefchik. Okay. He's one of the organizers for the U.S. Freedom Convoy. So he released this statement addressing President Biden directly ahead of the movement. So watch this video. And for me, when I saw this, I was like, well, this is this is how you protest the right way with your peaceful motives and clear transparency about your objectives so that the media can't just go easily twist what's happening. So check this out. This message is for the president of the United States of America. My name is Kyle Sefcik of the Freedom Convoy USA 2022 and our routes meet here in DC on March 1st in time for your State of the Union address. We are very organized and our routes are public. I even pulled a permit for the National Mall to be respectful. I just wanna be as transparent as possible from the start so there's no confusion. We are coming peacefully and we're gonna do this lawfully and constitutionally. I want the rest of the world to know our plans so that there's no twisting and lying about who and what we are. I'm coming to you as a father, a small business owner who's unaffiliated to any parties. We just want government overreach to end. On behalf of Freedom Convoy USA 2022, we are asking you to end the state of emergency, end the mandates once and for all. Sir, the world is watching us because they know that if what's happening in Canada happens to us here in the land of the free, then freedom as we know it is gone. So we are leaving the choice to you. The decision is in your hands. This whole convoy, this whole assembly on the National Mall, it doesn't even have to happen if you just end things now and we can get on with our lives. To you other convoys that plan on meeting us here, we look forward to seeing you and joining with you. We're gonna do this right. We're gonna do this honorably. Mr. President, we have no other motives in this mission. You see, the government, our elected officials of both parties have failed us tremendously these last two years. And now it's time for us we, the people, to fix this, to end this. We're ready to get back to our lives, the ones promised and guaranteed in the United States Constitution, Bill of Rights, and the contract that you signed and swore an oath to under the one true God. This is simple, end this. So the U.S. convoy is kicking off, and I thought that was just a very well done direct speech to the president saying, look, you you have all the power to make this go away because mm -hmm. you're the one who brought it. Right. You you asked for that. You signed it. Yep. yep. And now you have the ability to take it away. But I hate to say it, looking at the way that Canada has gone and uh, and how power works in Washington. Yeah. Um, you know, I remember a quote from a long time ago. Um, and it was, I don't know where it was from, but it, it was power corrupts and absolute power corrupts. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, we have a, we have a problem with power. Um, we saw in the last administration, just a, a battle of power. Um, and I, it, it's gotten more entrenched in the last year.